My name is Michael Elliott Ward Swamp, and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. Um, I didn't know what to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about something that I saw at the end of April, I think, about two years ago. It'll be two years uh, this month, at the end of the month. I always get some random type of... Since I've gotten the first vision of the angel, the demon, and God, in my first video, uh, testimonial number sign one, uh, testimonial number one, um... I've been getting some random vision from Jesus at the end of every April since then. Uh, so I am so excited. I will keep you informed because it's April 4th or 5th right now. I cannot wait. He's going to do something. He always does. Um, so I'm going to testify about the vision that I got two years ago at the end of April. It was a vision of an angel, and it was really, really beautiful. I mostly see demons and the devil specifically because God is educating me in the reality of hell. Jesus talked about hell way, way more than heaven uh, in the Bible, and there's a reason for it. He warns against the reality of hell. When you, when you, your heart stops beating, it's not like you're sleeping. When you die, it's, it's not like you're just in a perma sleep state. You go somewhere else. If you've ever looked at a picture of a dead body or something, and they die with their eyes open, you can tell that whatever made them alive is no longer in them, and that's their spirit. Uh, models people that watch models say that like the eyes are the window to the soul really it's not the eyes are the window to the spirit like you can see uh their spirit their, their spirit is what keeps you with what is alive in you um so anyway i was praying uh two, two years ago i was praying and uh i went outside to smoke a cigarette and um i look up and i saw an angel flying above the trees it was the most beautiful thing ever. I rarely see angels. I've seen 10 angels max since I've been getting these visions. Uh, maybe a little more, but I ma mo mainly see demons because he's educating me. But uh, so I look up and it was in Roman body armor. It was flying above the trees in such a beautiful, graceful way. You could tell that it was, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It was just so beautiful. It, it was about eight feet long uh, in mid flight. Its wings were longer, like, 12s of 14 feet in width, um, flying over the trees. It wasn't flying fast. It wasn't flying slow. It was just gracefully, patiently flying on its way to a mission, and I could tell that. But it, I, I, and I legit, when you see demons in the the way that I do, and they're terrifying, traumatizingly terrifying, you start to be able to look at the air. I, I don't, I don't see from right here to right here at the camera. I can see right here. 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 I can see right here, I can see right here, because the demons are in the air. Uh, they float around in the air. Um, so, when you see something so terrifying like this, you start marking the time of seeing it. When I see demons, you don't, he never usually shows them to me for a very long period of time. It's usually for uh, an entire second, uh, sometimes a second and zero, uh, 1.4 seconds, 1.3. So you start to time it. I saw this angel. I looked directly at it in mid-flight for legitimately 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 seconds. Not even an entire second, but it was enough for God to etch it on my heart and mind and to never let me forget it. It was really beautiful. We're wearing Roman body armor. It was um, it was wearing. It was mainly wearing, and its its wings were brown. The feathers of its wings were brown. It wasn't white like you would expect an angel's wings to be. Therefore, they come in many colors. Their wings, most likely, um, but they were brown wings. And this angel would not have looked more beautiful with, with white wings. Seriously, it looked more beautiful with brown wings. It looked way more powerful, like a soldier. The Roman body armor was like, it was like silver, metal, red, there was red and brown in its, in its attire. Uh, I think it might have had a little black. I, thought, I think I saw a little yellow too. Um, but it was really, really beautiful. Um, God told me that if you testify about these things and you don't have a, a dream to tell, a vision to describe, or a revelation, uh, at the very little people will gain faith by the videos of the experiences that you've gone through with me so this was vision but it was really really beautiful and it just gets you so excited about how beautiful heaven's going to be forever when we get there um go to a church accept jesus as your savior repent of your sins it's vital to being a christian pray to him like he's really there it makes him ridiculously happy the bible says it's impossible to please god without faith but if you have ridiculously strong faith it makes him so happy that he like can't help but just bless you with with his presence and so let you understand that he's there uh god is real jesus is the son of god he did die for everybody's sins you gotta accept him as, as your savior or you won't go to heaven because the bible says uh you if you deny the son the son will die, deny you before the father so you can't say 
I believe in God, but I don't believe in Jesus. It does not work that way. God does not accept you without you accepting Jesus. Um, hell is real. It's eternal. It's frozen in a state of death, the most uncomfort you could ever imagine. And what's worse is you're forgotten by everybody, including God. And you are raped, tortured, and tormented, poked, and laughed at by demons forever. I mean, you, no one could imagine, not even me, and I'm around demons all the time. Um, uh, read the Bible to, to get to know God, and the end is now, right now. So, uh, the devil, one of the craftiest lies the devil tells you is, uh, at your, when you're 25 years old, uh, don't worry about God and the devil, uh, repent tomorrow, repent tomorrow, repent tomorrow. And the devil will tell a person that until they're 80 years old, repent tomorrow. They pick up a cigarette, oh, I'm going to smoke a cigarette, oh, I'm just going to, um, uh, quit tomorrow. Um, it's, it's, you, you got to do it now. Because the devil will lie to you so long until, oh, I'm going to repent tomorrow. The 80-year-old man goes to sleep and dies in his sleep and then goes to hell forever. Uh, it's vital to being a Christian. Show God you're trying and he'll show, he'll, he'll, he'll help you more. He'll sanctify you. Jesus will. Um, you prove yourself to God. God will prove himself to you. Pray for all believers everywhere. And the end is now. Repent. God bless and Godspeed.